Hey friends, Rob Wood here. I'm sure many of you heard by now, Mike, the situation, Sorrentino has not only checked himself in rehab, but has been in rehab. And my God, man, I applaud him. Thank God he had enough sense to check himself in, to get, he, to, to get the help he needs. And I've worked in council with youth, young adults for over two decades, my friend, over 20 years. And I've seen the toll of this type of hardcore partying can have on not only a person's mental state, but their physical ability. Uh, let's just hope and pray it's only alcohol abuse and not, not substance abuse because, you know, drugs, my friend, trust me, will take you further a lot longer than you want to be. Uh, I'm a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I don't know if you figured that out by now, but the reality is, is I came on here as a response because I do have a burden for youth, for young adults. God completely gave me a miracle, delivered me in the 1980s out of a lifestyle of rock and roll. I used to play guitar in metal bands and hair bands. I didn't look like this. You can go on YouTube under the search Rob Wood One and listen to a show entitled My Testimony of How I Accepted Christ as My Lord and Savior. And let me just suggest this, my friends. No one goes to hell because of their sin. We only go because of original sin. We're all born separated from God for original sin. If you want to obtain eternal life, no one thinks about this when you're 15, 18, 20, 21. I get hit by a car at the age of 18. A week after graduation, I drank a bottle of vodka. As I'm laying in the street in blood, my hips split open, my arms fried from the ground. My friends were laughing. And I said to myself, my God, this has absolutely gone too far. This has gone way too far. And the Holy Spirit spoke to me. God spoke to me and says, Rob, if you would have died tonight, you would have spent eternity in hell, eternity separated from me. And it literally freaked me out. It scared the hell out of me, began to wake me up spiritually, how real God is, how much he loves me, how much a plan he has for my life. God has a plan for your life, my friends, plans for a hope in the future and expected end. If you've never accepted Jesus into your heart, the Bible says today's the day of salvation. Did I think I was going to get hit by a car that night when I went out just having fun partying my friends? Obviously not. And, uh, you know, who knows? Who knows, man? I could have been dead. The car was going 50 miles an hour. But allow me to lead you into a prayer where you accept Jesus. My God, again, tomorrow's not promised to no man. Eternity's without end. Christ is real, the Bible's real, Jesus is real, heaven's real, hell's real. If you've never accepted Jesus, bow your heart on me right now. Say, Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. Thank you for being my Lord and Savior. I accept you into my life. I ask you to forgive me. Give me a clean slate. And that's the awesome thing about Jesus, my friends. He's the only one that can take the eraser to your life, give you a clean slate, empower you, and give you the strength to serve him in victory. And that's how it comes. It comes through surrender. It comes through a relationship with him. You can't serve God in your own strength. You can't do this in your own. You can't be good enough to get to heaven. You can't, he turns, you can't obtain salvation from being good. If you could, then what was the purpose of the cross? Salvation's a free gift, my friends. But in any event, I've got many of the Christian ministry of I, YouTube, the search Rob Wood 1, R-O-B-B Wood, the number one. God bless you in Jesus' name, friends.